Hi, I'm Sam from Huawei Developers, and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Huawei Dynamic Tag Manager, or DTM, into your app. With Huawei DTM, you can update your tag configuration easily and securely on a web-based UI and achieve data-driven operations based on the powerful analysis capabilities of Huawei Analytics. In this video, I will show you how to use Huawei DTM to report user events and how to view event reports on Huawei Analytics. Okay, let's get started. First, visit the official website of Huawei Developers, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, select My Apps, click New, and enter the relevant information to create a project. Click the Develop tab. In the dialog that appears, enter your app package name and click Save. Then, go to Growing, Dynamic Tag Manager, select a data storage location in the dialog box and click OK. On the Configuration Management page, click Create Configuration and enter the relevant information to create a configuration. You can see the created configuration on the Configuration Management page. Here, open the configuration and click the Variable tab to access the Variable Management page. Click Configure, select Event Name, and click OK in the dialog box that appears. Here you can see the created preset variable. Click Create on the right of Custom Variables, give the variable a name, set type to Event Parameter, enter an Event Parameter key, and click Save. You can create more variables in the same way. After that, click the Condition tab to access the Condition Management page. Here, you can create custom conditions. When a condition is met, the related event will be triggered. Click Create in the upper right corner. On the page that appears, give the condition a name. Set Type to Custom and Trigger to Some Events. Set Other Relevant Parameters and click Save in the upper right corner. You can now view the created condition on the condition page. Click the Tag tab and click Create in the upper right corner to create a tag. Give your tag a name, set extension to Huawei Analytics and operation to add event, enter an event name and set key and value under parameters for additional modification. Once you've done that, add the created condition in the conditions area and click save in the upper right corner. You can now view the created tag on the tag page. Now, click the group tab and click create group in the upper right corner. In the dialog box that appears, give your group a name and click OK. You can then select some uncategorized items and click Move To to move them to a group. After that, click the version tab and click Create in the upper right corner. In the dialog box, give your version a name and description and click OK to create a version. After doing so, you can view the created version on the version page. Open the created version and click Release in the upper right corner to release the version. The message released successfully will be displayed, indicating that the version is released successfully. Then click download to download the release version configuration file. Click overview in the upper left corner and click AG Connect Services JSON to download the configuration file. Then open Android Studio, select empty activity, give your app a name, enter the app package name configured in App Gallery Connect, and click finish to create an Android project. Move the downloaded AG Connect Services JSON file to the app directory. Create the assets container folder under the main directory and move the downloaded version configuration file, which is a JSON file named after DTM, to this folder. Open the build gradle file in the app directory, add the app gallery connect plugin and add the Huawei analytics and DTM dependencies in dependencies. Then open the ProGuard rules file and add code to exclude Huawei Analytics from obfuscation, open the Android manifest file, and add relevant network access permissions. Next, open the activity main file and add test button. In the main activity file, add the required global variable, initialize the Huawei Analytics instance, high analytics instance in the onCreate method, bind the view component, and set click events for the button to trigger event reporting. Create a send event method, create a group of data to be reported, and use the Huawei Analytics instance to report the data. And there you go. You've now integrated Huawei DTM into your app. 
Let's launch the demo app to try it out. Launch the demo app and tap Test button to report data to Huawei Analytics. You can tap the button multiple times. Go back to the home page of App Gallery Connect, select Analytics, and click the Created Project. Then, click the Advanced Analysis tab, go to App Debugging on the left, and select the Debug device in the upper right corner. Go back to the demo app and tap Test button again. As you can see, related data has been reported to the Analytics platform. You can click View to check details. Well, that's all for today's episode. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments area below or visit the Huawei developers website. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.